How y'all? This is so so blessed. Welcome to the blessed place. How y'all doing? Happy Black Panther Day. <laughs> okay, this video has nothing to do with Black Panther, but I did see the movie and it is amazing. And I don't even like Marvel comics. I don't like sci-fi. I hate that genre of uh, movies. But I made an exception for this one and it was magnificent. Okay, let's get to the topic at hand. Um, I just wanted to share a thought that's been on my heart to share and it just must be for somebody. Has to be for somebody because this thought has been on my heart for uh, over a week and um, I wasn't even going to make this video because I'm just getting off work several hours at work and I could tell my voice is even changing because I'm so tired I sound even more like a man than I normally sound <laughs> but hopefully this will bless somebody and if this blesses you please like thumbs up and if you're new here, welcome to The Blessed Place, and please consider subscribing. Thank you to all my veteran 911, <laughs> my veteran blessed ones. The thought of the day is, if God has placed something in you, whether it's a talent, whether it's a gift, whether it's um, a, an assignment, whether it's um, whatever it is that he has placed in you, that urge, that burning desire, oh, ooh, that, bur that urge or burning desire that you have to start a business, to um, start a YouTube channel, to change careers, whatever it is, do it without regard to what other people are going to think, what other people are going to feel, how other people are going to receive it. Um, do it without regard of the numbers as far as I would like to start a YouTube channel, but, or either you already have a YouTube channel, but you're, uh, don't, you don't really post because of what people may say, because you might not feel your best, you might not feel you look your best, or because you're making videos, but you're only getting so many views. Um, you might want to make a Facebook post. Uh, you might want to start a ministry. You might want to use social media to further your career or to encourage, enlighten, inspire, motivate others. But we are so we are so driven by acceptance. We are so driven by numbers. We're so driven by views. Um, even if it's not have it has nothing to do with social media, but um, just say for instance you started um, a career, not a career. You started something like a ministry or something at your church, and you feel like nobody else is participating, nobody else is joining in with you. We've got to get out of that. When God has placed something in your heart, when He's giving you an assignment, it's not about the number of people who are who attend. It's not about the number of people who agree with you. It's not about the number of people who uh, show up for you. Yes, anything we do, it's awesome to have support. It's awesome to have someone in agreement with us. It's awesome to have views. I mean, my I, I've been on YouTube almost 10 years. My views are basically between two to 300. If it was all about the views, I would have been given up. I would have been given up because I'd have been like, what is the deal? You know, 10 years on YouTube and I'm still at two, 300 views. But even when, and I'm not even going to say 
oh, sorry, I think this sleep is getting to me. I'm not even going to say that those thoughts never come to me. But I cast down those thoughts because I know that God has placed something in me that he is using to encourage, inspire, motivate, love on other people and to share the good news of the gospel and to share the good news of God's, of Jesus Christ's love towards us. So I know he's placed that in me and he's going to draw um, to the blessed place whom he will have for me to bless and to encourage and to motivate and inspire. And I know if I was about a, a bunch of foolishness and other stuff, I could have a whole lot more views. And, and believe me, I'm by no means saying people who have a lot of views are about foolishness. But I'm just saying I know what to do to get more views if it was about that. So I just want to encourage you that even if you were running to start a ministry and you say, well, only two, three people show up to this ministry, so I'm going to stop doing it. It's not about the two, three people that show up. It's about you being obedient to your assignment. It's about you using your gifts that God has placed in you um, according to his will, according to his purpose, according to his glory. Um, not for our glory, not for our numbers, not for our views. Um, so I just want to, to share that because um, somebody just needs to be encouraged to... Um, hold on, let me see if... Oops, let me see if I can get a better... Oh, oh well, that's the best it's going to get. <laughs> um, but somebody needs to be encouraged to not be discouraged by somebody not participating with you, somebody not agreeing with you, somebody not um, holding you up. If you start a business and it just seems like people are not being drawn to your business, keep at it. Because if God has placed something in you, he's going to, if, especially if you are walking according to his plan, he's going to work that thing out for you. And Every platform is not for hundreds of people or thousands of people. Your platform could be just to help a few. What is it? Each one reach one. So your platform might just be just to reach a few people. And then those few people who have been motivated and inspired and encouraged by you may reach other people. And then those other people may reach other people. So you may be the impetus for reaching all these other people, but you might not get the influx of, of views or participation or um, customers that the other person may get. I hope I'm making sense and I'm not being too redundant because I feel like, like I said, I probably should make a video when I'm tired. So, and I feel like um, I'm not quite sure if I'm conveying what is really in my heart because when I turn off this video I'm gonna say oh my goodness I should have said this and I should have said that and this is what I really meant to say so but you know what I'm I'm going I'm not going to redo this and I'm not going to edit edit to edit it so I'm just hoping that the message that God placed in me I was able to express so basically in conclusion you. Yes, I'm talking to you. God has placed something in you and you're holding back. You're scared. You can sing, but you're holding back because you think you don't sound great. Use your talent. You are crafty, but you don't think that your product is as good as the next person. That doesn't matter. Perfect your craft. Um, perhaps you are intellectually intelligent. Does that make sense? Intellectually intelligent. And perhaps you can use that intellect to help someone else. Tutor kids, tutor college, you know, start a program at your church, um, whatever it is. Perhaps you are good at styling. Maybe you're a stylist. And you can help people who don't have a clue how to style, but who want to be um, styled better. 
my, who want to present themselves better, but perhaps you can um, be you you can style, but perhaps you think that you don't have all the skills it takes to style people. Use what you have. Use what God has blessed you with. Perhaps you have the gift of gab, like I do, uh, but you're a little afraid of being judged, or you know you're afraid of um, not being able to articulate your thoughts or whatever it is that causes you to fear. Maybe just be, fear of public um, speaking or whatever it is, but use that gift. God has placed those things in you, not to keep for yourself, but to spread for his glory. Okay, I can go on and on and on, but you know what? We're going to stop right there. And I hope that this blessed someone. I hope that this motivated someone. I hope this encouraged someone to get started and stop sitting down on your gift, number one. And if you're not sitting down on your gift, being discouraged because you're not growing at the rate of someone else or you feel like you're not getting the support um, that you need. You got all the support that you need when God put that in you. Okay? All right. <laughs> Love y'all and good night. Yeah, it's just uh, 9, 15 a.m., but it's good night for me. Love y'all. Y'all be blessed.